It's the news we've seen far too many times lately as a student opens fire inside a school in Colorado. Right now, we know the gunman is dead and three people were hurt inside the Arapaho High School. That's near Denver. And that shooting hits home, especially as we approach the one-year mark since the Sandy Hook shooting in Connecticut. All of those incidents are why officers in Hayes County took part in a special drill today at Dripping Springs High School. KXAN's Chris Sadegi has more on the active shooter drill inspired after a very real tragedy. Lock down, lock out, shelter, evacuate. Four steps that can save lives in almost any emergency situation. Today at Dripping Springs Middle School, these students got to practice the plan. Nearly one year after the Newtown shooting and just as another shooting was happening in Colorado, students, teachers, and officers prepared for the worst at Dripping Springs Middle School. The new standard response procedure is a new uniform procedure adopted in Hayes County and much of the state. Law enforcement from across Hayes County took part in the drill and said the students followed the plan well. Hopefully they won't have to use it, but the lesson still has to be taught. My old football coaches used to tell me that you play the way you practice. So that's why these practice drills are so, so important. And the plan is for every school campus here in Hayes County to practice this drill at least once a year from here on out. We're in Dripping Springs, Chris Seidegge, KXAN News. The standard response protocol is based off the plan designed by the I Love You Guys Foundation. John Michael Keyes started that group in honor of his daughter, Emily Keyes. She sent that message, I love you guys before she was killed in a 2006 hostage crisis at Canyon Platte High School in Colorado. John Michael Keyes spoke in San Marcos earlier this year about the needs for a uniform response in these scenarios. We also know that events can happen, and kids will talk about it amongst themselves. It's the parents who don't mention the elephant in the room. And I think it's okay for parents to talk to kids about some of the things that can happen at school. We posted a link with more information about the I Love You Guys Foundation and standard response protocol inside this story at KXAN.com.